For an 18-year-old, Haven has seen more than any parent would wish for their child. She spent seven months travelling across Europe on her own, determined to reach Britain. She's tried 30 times already, but her latest attempt nearly cost her her life. Haven filmed this video as she was rescued by French police on Tuesday. The dinghy she was on was hijacked by another group. There were violent clashes and in the chaos, five passengers died. We waded into the sea with the water up to our legs. I fell and was helped up. Then everyone climbed aboard. There were too many people, more than 110 of us. I sat on the edge of the boat and didn't go towards the other end. That's where people were fighting and people were getting stepped on, dying and thrown off. I thank God that I didn't get into the top part of the dinghy. I would have suffocated. It must have been terrifying. How, how frightened were you, Haven? I was shaking from the cold. I couldn't do anything. It was so bad when the engine wouldn't work and we couldn't get moving. All those people were there who we didn't know. I was so scared. It was so bad. She told us the people who stormed onto their boat were armed with sticks and knives, which they used to take control of the vessel. <laughs> what do you think of the people who ran onto the boat, who took over the boat? What's your emotions towards them? They caused a huge tragedy. It was because of them that people died. We didn't have any problems before they came. There weren't that many of us. If they hadn't come and started fighting, None of this would have happened. I hate them and I'm furious with them. After a rescue operation, the boat continued to Britain. Most of those on board, the hijackers, and possibly some of them criminals. There's now a joint British-French police investigation. The spectre of rival migrant groups hijacking each other's boats to make this journey adds yet another element to the complexity of this story. Blamed in vulnerability, danger, and now violence. Crossing these waters is already incredibly dangerous, but this violence is something new and troubling. Haven failed this time but survived and says she'll try to cross again soon. Adam Parsons, Sky News.